is Francisco Rivera. I'm fighting at UFC 156 against Edwin Figueroa. Huge card, you know, Edgar and Aldo, Ian McCall, Benavides, huge, you know, Overeem's back. So I'm definitely excited about fighting on this card and, and I can't wait. A lot of my fans and family are going to be going and supporting me. Huge fan base over there in Vegas also. I fought there a few times, you know, in the past with the UFC and the WC. So I, I know what it's like, you know, I'm 0-2 in Vegas, so this is third time's a charm. I like to stand and bang and, and put on a show for the fans. You know, it's it's happened my last four fights. You know, I've had knockouts. I definitely see see myself being uh, one of the heaviest hitters in the Bantamweight division. You know, Edwin's a, a gamer. He's gonna come and bring it. I've watched his last three fights in the UFC, so I know he's he's gonna stand in front of me and, and try to put on a show as well. So someone's getting knocked out in this fight. Training for this camp at Eric Paulson CSW here in Fullerton, California. That guy knows everything. He is by far the best ground coach, wrestling coach I've ever had. You know, and I've seen a, a few of them, and I've been invited to other wrestling camps. And but I'm definitely staying here with Coach Paulson. He knows his stuff, and anybody who's ever seen him train and and all the moves he has and all the technique he has is just um, it's just crazy. So he's definitely helping me with this fight in my ground and wrestling. And Master Cha, Eddie Cha, I'm one at all in MMA. He's definitely put a lot more speed and power into all my punches and technique to every combination I throw now. To being a coach on the tough against Goito would be an awesome opportunity. You know, I'd definitely jump into to that chance of doing it. Uh, I would love to fight him, especially if we can do a tough in Mexico. You know, I'm, I'm Hispanic. My dad's from Mexico. Uh, my mom's Hispanic. My mom's parents are from Mexico. So I'd, I would definitely love to be one of the coaches out there in Mexico and, and support my people and my Hispanic family and my Hispanic culture. When I first started MMA, I wasn't really doing anything. I was working full-time job. I played college football. Orange Coast College, you know, I broke my ankle and I quit pretty much. That was it. I thought my career was over. I couldn't walk for I don't know how many months. I was 24 years old when I put my first foot into an MMA gym. One of my good friends that passed away, Brian Joplin, who died in a car accident a few years back, he's the one that got me into MMA. I would go to his fights and he would always tell me to come train, come train and push me and and I would always see him at the gym and he, he dragged me in the MMA gym and I started doing kickboxing first and I was always there and he was always beating me up and beating me up and at the same time he was he was my best friend he was my best friend before he passed away rest in peace to Brian and that's how I started after I got cut in the first outing with the UFC you know I, I was about to retire I lost to Eric Koch in the WC came back and fought Ruben Duran and lost him, against him and I, I thought that was it I thought my MMA career was over I had family issues with my mother she was sick and got into some trouble in Arizona with my family. It needed something to keep me going and keep me alive and keep that drive going. So I got back in it. Master Eddie Chow, who's, who's been pushing me to get back. Coach Eric Polson here at CSW, who's been helping me so much with my wrestling and my ground game. All the positive guys telling me I could do it. And I came back strong and I proved to, to myself and my coaches and, and my fans that I'm still a top band in weight. Now I have my family. I have a, a, a little girl on the way and she's doing it. My girlfriend's doing April. My mom's doing a lot better. All I want now is that bantamweight belt. Don't forget to tune in February 2nd, Super Bowl weekend, UFC 156, Francisco Rivera fighting Edwin Figueroa. Super Bowl weekend's gonna be huge over there, so don't blink. It's gonna be a quick first round knockout.